Hey guys, in this mechanical explanation, we're gonna take a look at back leg internal rotation and ultimately what that means in our pitching delivery. So uh, what is back leg internal rotation? We're gonna go ahead and get Marcus Stroman uh, here, uh, right to about the start of drive phase. Let's back up a little bit there. And so what do we notice with the back leg? Um, I know it's kind of being covered up partially by the front leg, but let's look at the back foot first. So where's the back foot here? Back foot is uh, you know pressed against the rubber, connected with the ground, heels in the ground, toes in the ground, and ultimately Marcus has a strong foundation there where he's planted with his back foot into the ground. Um, let's go ahead and get a couple frames here. So where is Marcus's knee right here during the linear drive phase? His knee is facing that direction, right? Um, towards third base. And we can see there that he's still in a connected position with the back foot. So let's go ahead and progress him here. And what we're going to see is, is that as Marcus begins to rotate his pelvis into front foot strike, we're gonna see something happen. And a lot of people, um, I think, get a little bit confused about what causes what here. But if pitchers are rotating their hips uh, and ultimately rotating the pelvis effectively into front foot strike, then what we're naturally gonna see is we're gonna see that back leg internally rotate and this heel is going to flip up into a vertical position um, into front foot strike. So let's go ahead and take a look here at this action. So here we can start to see Marcus. And what do we start to see here? His pelvis is starting to rotate, right? Meaning the pelvis is gonna start to rotate back this way. And what you're gonna start to see is, and you can already kind of see it here, is this heel is going to come up and start to get into a vertical position. So we'll go ahead and progress Marcus here. And, and two, this knee is gonna go from where it's pointed off this direction to where we're actually gonna see it begin to rotate down and in, and ultimately it's gonna end up kind of facing towards the, uh, the ground there. And it's going to rotate uh, in an internal uh, way there. So let's go ahead and progress this. So as we start to see Marcus, what are we starting to see? We're starting to see this knee perform that internal rotation. So keep an eye right here on this knee. What are we seeing? That knee is internally rotating. Now we get Marcus in the front foot strike. And what do we see here? So two telltale signs that the back leg is internally rotated correctly is, is that we can see the knee is kind of facing uh, kind of towards the hitter or kind of like down this direction. That's telltale sign number one. So we'll say number one uh, here, knee, right? So we're talking about the knee uh, and where it's pointed. Number two, we're gonna look at the back foot. So the back foot, this is the, probably the biggest telltale sign and you can see this from the second base view, is where is this back foot and how is it positioned? So remember, the back foot was flush against the rubber and into the ground uh, during the linear drive phase. Now, as we can see, the back foot is essentially in a vertical position facing upwards, right? So that we can see that his back foot is now pointed upwards and heel is to the sky. Ultimately, what all of this, so we'll do number two, we'll do uh, back foot, and that's what we're looking for there. We're looking for those two signs to tell if the back leg is internally rotated. Now, how does this apply? What we utilize this for uh, here at Stroke Ball is to tell at how effective um, a pitcher has been in rotating their hips and pelvis into front foot strike. So as you can see here, Marcus's hips and pelvis are open. You can see his belt buckle is faced off towards his intended throwing target and that he has rotated his hips and pelvis into front foot strike. If Marcus's pelvis was not open and it was, it was closed off over here, mo more oftentimes than not, players that don't get their hips and pelvis open in a front foot strike, you're gonna see this heel is essentially still pretty much connected to the ground. It might be slightly up, it might be kind of angled off in that direction but it's not gonna be flipped up into this vertical position, which is what we're wanting. So ultimately, the hips and pelvis drive back leg internal rotation and how effective we are in achieving that. But we kind of utilize this mechanical concept to tell it how efficient a player is at getting the hips and pelvis open into front foot strike. And usually, the better a player is at getting their hips and pelvis opened up into front foot strike, the more vertical that back foot ends up and the more internally rotated uh, that back leg ends up. And we know that because if we were to watch a pitcher progress from here, and uh, this is that initial front foot, front foot strike, if we just continue to watch Marcus here as his pelvis continues to rotate this way, what you're, you're gonna see a direct correlation in how vertical that foot gets. So we'll just progress him a couple more and see now the foot, as he rotates the pelvis even more, now the foot is just straight up and down there. 
So ultimately back leg internal rotation is a direct result of the pelvis rotating effectively into front foot strike. We usually like to get between 45 to 90 degrees there. So 45, this would be zero if the foot was flat. This would be about 45 there. And this is about 90 where he's at right there. So at front foot strike, we want him to be, we want to be within this 45 to 90 degree range, which we can see Marcus at initial front foot strike is within that. He's probably, that's about front foot strike right there. So we can see he's probably in about a, I don't know, 60, 70 degree range there. So ultimately that's what I wanted to touch on back leg internal rotation in this video as a mechanical concept and how we utilize it to tell how efficient a player is at rotating their hips and pelvis into front foot strike. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.